Hi guys, I'm Jake from JT Gaming, and today we're doing something different. We're actually going to be doing a review. Uh, the review is something I want to work on a bit more, do a few more reviews. Um, if you're new to us, basically we do gameplay videos normally, but uh, today we're going to be doing reviews, and I'm hoping to be able to do some more reviews in the future. But anyway, uh, we'll get on with the review. Basically, this is a Cooler Master uh, M520 power supply, in case you're wondering what this is. Uh, this is a power, su power supply for a computer. So here we got it. And basically, why is this better than what you've got at the minute? Why should you upgrade? But here's the old one. This, I'll move closer to you. This is an Atrix cheap brand one. Looks kind of nice. Um, and you wouldn't tell there's anything wrong with this. But you, you will get some problems uh, eventually. This will have a much, much shorter lifespan than a good brand one. And most importantly, this provides much less protection to your system than a good brand one. So for example, if you had a power, su a power surge or a dodgy power cut, then this will hardly protect you. And with a cheap brand one, you can't trust it to protect your uh, system through that. That's why a good brand one will protect you from that. Also, ones like this can die um, for no reason at all. There's a video from Corsair, uh, if you look on their website, I might even put an annotation up. And basically, they got these, I think they're 450 watt ones, got six of them, run them each at 75% load at room temperature, and they all died within two or three minutes, which is pretty poor. And if you've never heard of the brand before, don't buy it. That's my advice anyway. There are of course other benefits like better cooling, uh, all sorts of stuff. Obviously more reliable power. And that is why they. Uh, this is one of Cooler Master's real power uh, lines of PSUs. Basically this means it can provide reliable power that you can trust. And although it says... It's 520 watts, that's 520 watts continuous. It can go, it peaks at 600 watts. I wouldn't recommend going over the 520 watts, but it can do up to 600 watts. So, there's a few reasons why it's better. Also, it's quieter, but that's a few reasons why a good brand PSU is better than a cheapo one which you've never heard of. So with that out of the way, we'll go on and do a quick unboxing, run through a few of the cables and stuff included in the box. And then, we was going to do an installation, but it took too long, so then we're gonna, just going to go ahead and look through some specs and stuff, so let's go. So, uh, this is the outside of the box. Uh, of course, it's got the Cool Master logo, it's really nicely packaged. Um, real power M M520 with a picture on it there. It's the same as all their other wattage models. Expand your imagination. Yeah, do that. Right, uh, you've got a few of the cables on the back. We'll run through them in just a sec. As well as more specs, which we'll also run through later. And the rails, I'll run through them. What's really important are the 12 volt rails. Uh, you get three of them, and they're each at 19 amps. I'm sure that's all you want to know. If you want to know more, uh, check them out on their website. And basically, on the back it says real power series power supply and loads just a few little features which uh, you will know also on the top it says high efficiency 3 guarantee and ultra silent so a few little things you want to know I, I bought this second hand but it is actually new so they've put a little bit of sellotape on here just peel that off and basically you've got your your special seal on here, Cooler Master seal, which I've just taken off. It opens up like this. I've not opened this before, so I might make a few mistakes. It's alright. eBay stuff. Um, so nice bit of that of like it's like polystyrene stuff. Not net damage. Here you got your your modular cables. Modular, in case you don't know, basically means um, if you don't need them, you don't have to have these plugged into your power supply. They're nice, they're not anything snazzy, but they've got this nice black braided stuff, very subtle and looks really nice. So you got 
I'll go through the cables in just a moment because we want to get to the beef of the things. Uh, manual, yeah. Always read it, of course. Um, more cables. Cable. Silica gel. Anyway, here is the power supply. Here we go. It's um, it's a nice metal power supply at the top. At the back, it's uh, got this uh, honeycomb mesh for nice airflow. And on the bottom, it's got a nice big 120mm fan. It's actually quite a small power supply compared to some of my others. Um, and of course, hard wired into it, you've got the most important ones. So yeah, the top's just blank, but that doesn't matter because you're never going to see it no matter if you've got it at the top of the, at the bottom of your case. And the, the fans have a really nice design. It's, as you can see, it's actually embedded in there. Hold it at an angle. It's embedded in there. And it's got a nice logo there. And anyway, this is where you plug in your modular cables. You've got your 6-pin PCIe and everything else there. So, all the installation and that done, I'm just going to talk about what I think of it. My opinions are just positive. I, I can't really have any negative opinions on this. To install it, it was extremely easy, of course, as any other power supply. Just screw it in the back. But, um, the cable management was nice with it. It came with nice black brody cables, and it was modular. So, you don't have to have in there what you don't need. And it kind of looks nice if you do it properly. So even you, though you do see the cables, it does still look nice. It's increased airflow in my system, which reduces temp temperature. Um, also, a gr great thing I noticed uh, was when I was plugging all the things in, the clips uh, were really nice, they're easy to take on and off, no yanking or anything that can damage stuff, really simple and easy. So after I put it in my system, I, I tested it out for a few hours, and basically I've noticed a massive massive drop in sound. Um, my other one was very noisy uh, it used, um, I've got it here, the fans were made by Young Ling Tech Company um, yeah so no one's heard of them and Cooler Master obviously used good branded, they may even use their own I'm not sure but they use good quiet and reliable fans so the fans aren't going to die on me soon it's also very quiet and what's more it's, it's dropped the temperature in my system by one or two degrees which for a power supply just changing the power supply is pretty amazing so overall I'm very very happy with this power supply I couldn't fault it at all so definitely a thumbs up for that uh, rating out of 10 I see no reason why not to give it 10 it does everything I want it to do it's reliable the voltages stay the same say very very similar no matter what load you put on it so I just have no reason not to give it 10 if you want more wattage you get the same model with less wattage or more wattage depending on what you want so I can't fault it at all so great uh, power supply cooler master I definitely recommend it to you guys uh, very good value for money um, so I'll put some links on where to buy it in the description so thanks for watching if you like these reviews let me know and we'll make some more. We'll hopefully do a few more for console gamers as well as PC gamers because um, like headsets and whatever because I'm sure you console gamers would like to benefit from this as well. So thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like this. Uh, if you don't like it, please just let me know. So thanks for watching. Bye.